All right, so now we're going to do my favorite Halloween song, Spooky. It's kind of groovy, so I'll put on my groovy pumpkin glasses. Yeah. Okay. It only has, really, like, mostly one chord. Um, if you, unless you count an A minor 7th as a chord, it's just over. I guess you do, but it's your G minor 7th that's the major chord, and the chord that you use the most. So G minor 7th. It looks like a B flat without the top note on it. So you have your middle finger on the second fret, second string from your nose. You have your first finger on the two other strings down at the bottom, pressing both of them at the same time on the first fret. Nice chord. Huh? It's all in the strum too, so you gotta get the strum down. Got some plans for the night, but then you stop. Here you go, glissando or slide from the twelfth, and it's a, and then a G diminished. That's like, every, it's like uh, every other finger. You're going open first fret, open first fret. So, all right, sounds cool, huh? And then you go back to your G minor seventh. Well, it's kind of crazy with your spooky little girl like you. Now your last chord to do an E or F seven F five. Sorry, it's got a great sound. F five is basically you go to the fifth fret, you put your your finger on it there, and then you have your pinky on the eighth fret on two strings. It gives it that awesome sound. So it's like. Can't make out if it's a minor or a major because it's just a one and a five, no minor, no third involved. So those are all the chords. So we'll do the other verses now. The other verses are just the same thing over, but a lot of fun in the story because he says he wants to propose to her because she's so spooky on Halloween. It's a good Halloween song. So you always keep me guessing. I never seem to know what you are thinking. Just don't know where I stand, but then you smile, slide, and you diminished. Understand, hold my hand. Love is kind of crazy with a spooky little girl like you. Yes, F7, F5. It's okay. And you get your sax playing friend and do a little solo here. So the strum is basically down, down, mute. You gotta mute the strings. Down, 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 down. You almost hit the second one harder, so. That's kinda hard now. Down. And if you decide someday to stop this little game that you are playing, I'm gonna. Sing that high, you can sing it an octave lower, it's not too hard. And just like a ghost, you've been a haunting my dream, so I'll propose on Halloween. Love is kind of crazy with a spooky little girl like you. Spooky! G minor sevenths up the fret. It's good to know all your chords up and down the fret. Mm, yeah. and the next one. Okay. And then your next one would be a. Uh... 
next E minor. And then your last G major seventh, is, or G minor seventh is, uh, looks like, uh, oh my gosh. Oh, like an A major. It's easy, the easiest one on the fifth fret, a straight line. <laughs> That'd be a good place to to leave it if you even if you just do this chord only. And the very end. Just go to the tenth fret. Or you could do something crazy. Diminished chords repeat every four frets. So just switch the notes around. Something like that. Anyway, have fun with it.